looking out across the San Francisco Bay, you might notice it's looking a little murky. Experts say the reason is a potentially harmful algae bloom that's spreading in waters throughout the Bay Area. The algae is called heterosigma, and it's literally turning the bay brown. It's something scientists at San Francisco Baykeeper are studying closely. This morning, we followed their team as they went out on the bay. Staff scientist Ian Wren says there hasn't been an algae bloom of this kind since 2004. He says there are a lot of unknowns about why it's growing again now, but that the nutrients polluting the bay are a major factor. There are about 40 wastewater treatment plants that discharge a lot of phosphorus and nitrogen into the water. And that's the building block for algae such as this. Here on the bay, you can see the algae everywhere. There's been reports of it from Oakland to San Francisco, even now Richmond. And scientists say it's likely to get worse before it gets better. We're going to go in and we're going to grab some of this water. Samples of the water are being gathered and sent to a lab in Richmond. And then we're going to write on here where the sample was taken, okay. what depth. Experts say the algae can kill shellfish and other marine life. It's not believed to be toxic to humans or pets. However, the cities of Alameda, Oakland, County of Alameda, East Bay Parks have issued warning postings that advise against recreating in the water. Wren says the way to prevent future outbreaks of this algae is to reduce the amount of nutrients flowing into the bay. He says if not, the current conditions combined with climate change could lead to even more common and potentially worse algae outbreaks. And it's quite conceivable that in other years, a different type of species could take off uh, with much more harmful consequences. In Oakland, Liz Kreutz, ABC 7 News.